So my friends and I were at Rolling Loud. Well, we were walking to Rolling Loud, and these YouTube guys in a car, they, like, literally rolled down the window and screamed out. They're like, y'all are ugly as F, like. You know, my friends are really upset because they're like, bruh, like, ain't no way we're going to let this man disrespect us like this. I'm like, hold on, wait, let me tell you something. It's like he said that to get that exact reaction out of you guys, right? So this is how we going to react. What do you want me to do about it? Like, <laughs> like, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't put on the right face today. Like, what do you want me to do? So I think she said they were YouTubers or something. As a YouTuber myself, I can confirm that my friends and I drive around the city yelling at ugly girls. Anyway, riveting story that never happened or she's leaving out a bunch of details. Um, long story short, I want to hang out with this guy. Um, but it's only seven, so, like, there's still hope. But, like, that's so fucking annoying, like, you know. But, okay, long story short, um, we used to talk. We stopped talking. Um, and we've been talking again for, like, a week. Um, like, nothing too crazy, you know, like, it's just been, like, whatever conversation, but, like, I've been wanting to hang out with him, you know, like, I don't want to fucking be texting you every fucking day, I just want you to hit me up, like, on Friday, and be like, hey, what's up, you know, but you know what, ladies, we deserve better, we fucking do, well, I just, I'm just bored, you know, I want someone to do, I want someone to do, <laughs> okay, and literally the time is over, and I didn't do my makeup, so, bye, story time. That Whose daughter is this? Anyway. Booty calls can only get weekday appointments. Fridays and Saturdays are reserved for new prospects. I would never hang out or go on a date with my booty call on a Friday or Saturday. Chick is tripping thinking she deserves anything. Most she deserves is a diet plan. Grow the fuck up, men. Seriously. Nobody wants to go out and find out that they're literally with a child. This is my second time going to the club and I'm meeting up with my coworker, but he couldn't drive me because he's bringing his girlfriend. So he sent his friend over to pick me up that I've never met before. And I was like, okay, swag, this is gonna be fine. He's like, the only thing I know about him that he told me is he's a 6'5, 20 year old professional baseball player. And I was like, okay, this is gonna be chill. It's gonna be sick. And so we get in and I've only been twice. I don't know how to two step or how to line dance at all. Like, l give me a minute to watch and figure this out. And he's there counting on his fingers, counting down. If you don't dance with me in this many seconds, I'm leaving you. In that moment, I was like, please fucking leave. Please, please. And so he ends up waiting and dancing with me. And I dance for two songs. I'm like, I'm tapping out. I don't want to be touching you anymore. So I finally get here and he asks to borrow something of mine. I'm like, sure, just like give it back to me when you're done. I had to chase him around the club, chase this man around the club on the dance floor, not on the dance floor to get my shit back. And when I finally would get there and I was like, hey, like give it back. He'd be like, I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. It's in your fucking pocket, dumbass. And so I'm like, okay, great. My stuff's in your car. I need your keys. He's like, you're going to drive off. You're going to drive off. I'm like, I'm fucking not. So he keeps my, th he keeps my shit. I go to the car. It took me 15 fucking minutes to find the car. And once you leave, you can't get back in. And I fully knew that. And this man thought I was still going home with him. And I was like, no, no, you're drunk as shit. And you will not be driving me home. So finally I get the fucking keys. I get my shit from the car. I meet him outside and I, we exchange shit. He's like, oh, by the way, your thing broke. I, I lost the other piece of it. You lost the other piece of it? He's like, yeah, it's broken. No, you're just a fucking dumbass. So he told me he would Venmo me. Never fucking Venmo me. Just grow up. Nobody wants to go with a child. Nobody. Thank you. Six foot five professional baseball player. Right. For which team? My six foot five black friend says he's using Bolt whenever he goes out. But anyway, I kind of like this story. Seeing what a Chad can get away with. Treating her like shit. Stealing her property. Breaking her property, then asking to go home with him while he's wasted. Sounds like he had a good time either way. So I have to read you a text that I got after going out on a date last night. And I'd love to get your reaction or perhaps even recommendations on what I should text back in response. How's it going? I enjoyed chatting. So even though I'm not wanting a relationship now for the foreseeable future, any interest in dinner again and possibly an overnight somewhere in the vicinity. It would be at a nice place, not a no-tell motel. So we went to dinner. What? Just a casual place. Um, I offered to pay my half and he declined and paid. I thanked him. I gave him a hug goodbye. Um, but we had established during that meeting that he was not looking for a relationship and I was. Um, part of me wants to give him a little grace because um, you know, he was recently divorced. He was married like over 30 years. I think the divorce was not his choice. And so he was really, really pretty bitter, to be honest. And I was pleasant. We, we exchanged pleasantries. We had a nice conversation. But I said, look, I don't think we're on the same page. Um, thank you very much for dinner. Um, I appreciate it. Not on the same page. His page 
was that he'll take you out for dinner if he can clap those cheeks. You accepted that page, but after it was time to put out, now all of a sudden you're not on the same page. And she's not the only one acting dumb when it's time to hold up their end of the bargain. Younger ones do this all of the time. They pretend those guys in the friend zone are just doing things for her because they're just nice guys. Then they act all surprised when guys don't want to court them anymore. We know the game already. Just put out or keep it moving. All right, so I just want to say this. The good thing about dating an independent woman is that they're with you because they want to be with you, not because they need you, but because they want to be with you because we make our own money, baby. We just need you to be loyal and to give us advice and to be there for us, and that's all we ask for.